In this video I will show you how you can draw supply and demand based on equations. Let's start with the demand equation. Let's assume QD quantity demanded is equal to 20 minus 2P. P is the price. And QS, the quantity supplied, is equal to P minus 1. The first step we need to do is we need to figure out what is on the vertical axis and what's on the horizontal axis in our graph. So if we have a graph in a standard format, we will have the price on the vertical axis and the quantity on the horizontal axis. This means that to properly plot them, we need to get an equation where P is equal to something. So we need to flip these two equations in the sense of instead of Q is equal to something, we need to have P is equal to something. So let's start with demand. So for demand, we first want to put 2P on the left and the Q on the right. So we get 2p, if we add 2p, is equal to 20 minus q. But we don't want p, 2p, we want p. So we get, by dividing by 2, we get p is equal to 10 minus q over 2. Now you need to do the same thing with supply. And here it's a bit easier. We just need to put the 1 to the other side and we get P is equal to 1 plus Q. Okay, so now that we've brought demand and supply into the right format, we can think about drawing these two. Now we know if the equation is in this format that the price P will be equal to 1 plus Q, meaning there is an intercept of 1, a slope of 1 for Q, and so the intercept is 1, so here at 1 the supply will start and is upward sloping. You can do the same argument with demand. So demand has an intercept of 10, and a slope of minus one half. So we start at 10 here, and we have a downward sloping demand. Now, just having these two points might not be enough to do further analysis. We might want to know where the two curves intersect, as well as where demand crosses the horizontal quantity axis. Let's start with this point here. This point here implies that the price is zero. So we go back to the equation here for demand and we set the price equal to zero. So we end up with zero equals 10 minus Q over two. So we get Q over 2 equals 10, or Q equals 20. And we have 20 here. Note that this 20 is the same 20 we have up here as well. Okay, now all that's left is this point here and this point here. Let me make some space. So to get this point here, what's the quantity and the price, the equilibrium quantity and price? First thing we know is demand intersects with supply at this point. So we need to set the equation for demand equal to the equation of supply. Let's go back to the original equations I gave you. QD equals 20 minus 2P and QS equals P minus one. At this point here, both the quantity for demand and supply have to be identical 
and the price for demand and supply have to be identical. So we know that QD equals QS. So we can set these two equations equal and we get 20 minus 2P equals P minus 1. Now we can add 2P and add 1 plus 2P plus 1 and we get 21 equals 3P divided by 3 and we get P equals 7. Now we need to plug this back into either of these two equations. Let's plug it in both to check that the 7 is really correct. So if we plug in 7 into this equation, 2 times 7 is 14, 20 minus 14 is 6. So we get Q equals 6. If you do the same in supply, plug in 7 here, 7 minus 1 is also 6. So we correctly got 6 and 7. So we can label these points here as 6 and 7. Now we have drawn demand and supply and labeled all the crucial points which we might need for further analysis. Thank you for watching.